Welcome, welcome to lecture number three, tailoring your copy. I am your instructor, my name is Terry. And in our lecture of today, we are learning how to tailor your copy or how do you go about putting all the information you've gathered together. So that is the whole uh, point about this, this lecture. Uh, so how do you tailor your copy? So how to tailor your copy to meet your audience needs and interests? And I want you to keep in mind the previous example that we've talked about in lecture two. And in this uh, section, we are going to use language and tone that resonates with your audience. So for example, when you are collecting the, the data, what are some of the terms that your target audience was using? Were they using things like, um, uh, things like nanny? Was a nanny a common, a common term that they were using uh, was there anything any word that is uh, that that came about like quite unique to you make sure you note it down uh, also address their pain points and challenges and you have to highlight the benefits of your product or service so I want to take you back to my jam board we shall be using them some of the uh, some of our previous, we shall be using our previous example, and I'll be showing you how to use a language and tone that resonates with your audience, how to address uh, the pain points of your target audience, and how to highlight the benefits of your product or service. So let us go back to my Jamboard. Sorry, this is live, I'm doing it live, so pardon if I am too slow. So for example, after doing your online service, you found out that some of the biggest challenges challenges your target audience or for example the avatar was me uh, that people in that category are facing are things like uh, uh, they need to buy a home they need more time uh, maybe some of them are not feeling well there are some who are still looking to get children there are some who are still looking for husbands they need new cars they need to learn how to invest and they need to uh, some of them need to increase their income these are all potential and they can make you money so i want you to focus on one problem because when you focus on all these problems then this is going to be so big and you might miss out so for example you will want to tailor your product or your service um on one problem so for example uh, this one i need to i need to learn how to invest so for example if you found out that like 65%, 65% of all those responses you got needed to learn how to invest. Then you know that this is a this is an area that will be profitable. If only like maybe 5% wanted to know or how to get married, then you know that maybe, yes, you can target that, but uh, it will not be as lucrative as learning how to invest. Maybe you found out that there are some, uh, like maybe 30%, a battling condition maybe this is an area that you would want to research further and come up with a, a product or a service or an idea that can help these people so the main goal is to ensure that you're targeting one problem at a time with your product with your service or with your idea so uh, use a language and tone that resonates with your audience that one we we are going to talk about it and then you have to address their pain points and their challenges and you have to highlight the benefits of your uh, product. So, for example, uh, we've chosen this one because 65% of the responses wanted this. You can come up with your, with an idea, for example, or uh, not an idea really. You may come up with your, um, with your products. For example, you can say... Um, you can maybe you are an investor or you are a person who has deep knowledge and understanding on how to invest so you can come up with an idea such as um, I'll show you I'll show you okay or learn how to how to start sorry, how to start investing in your thirties remember my age or the age of your as a woman using and remember this person also 
was also having some issues with income so they don't really have a lot of money to invest so you have to keep in mind their needs their wants and where they are coming from when you're crafting your message so um uh, how to start investing in new that thing that is as a woman using hello uh, using with a with a low to medium income hmm. okay you can go further than this but already are uh, using this example yeah you've already captured my attention sorry you've already captured my attention because i want to learn how to invest and i'm in my 30s and i'm a woman and i have a low maybe to medium income so already this message is very very clear and the person that is um uh, the message that this person is intended for will definitely capture their attention and i'll be showing you how to use power words how to use storytelling in order to make this interesting so these are basic something that we've just come up with right now you will definitely have more time to sit down and write better 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 titles better ideas for your product or services so for example if you have a product that will uh, show people how to start investing uh no it of this woman then definitely you're going to uh, get their money you're definitely going to get my money so that is how you uh, make sure that you're using uh, the right language make sure that you're targeting their pain points and ensure that the last point here ensure that you're highlighting the benefits of your products or services so what is, what does this what does this product benefit me why do i need to or after starting to invest uh, using your strategy or your idea, how is it going to benefit me? Ensure that, as I will be showing you later on, that you're going to uh, show me some of the benefits. For example, let me come up with a few benefits of um, how to start. Of Let me come up with a few benefits. To, um, okay, so for example, this... Uh, I've come up with these four benefits. You can actually come up with as many benefits as you can for uh, a person who has this product that you, how to start investing in your that is as a woman with a low to medium income. And then one of the benefits could be you can earn more money over time. When you invest your money, it can grow over time. And the longer you invest, the more money you can earn. So that is an amazing benefit. And a a woman who is in her that is would really love that a woman who is looking for uh how to invest another, um, another amazing benefit could be you have plenty of time to invest especially in your practice you have plenty of to invest and build up your savings for the future this is amazing this is an amazing benefit and you can come up with better ones because you will know and understand your product better so um, you can come up also with another benefit, something like uh, this. Um, you can say something like it is important to save for retirement and investing in your that is a great way to start saving for your retirement. So the earlier you start, the more money you can save for your retirement. Everybody wants a comfortable life after retirement. And this is a benefit that can capture me. It's a benefit that, that can um uh like get me interested so you can also come up with another one something like so come up with as many 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 benefits as possible uh, it will help you build good habits investing requires discipline and planning which can help you develop good habits that can can benefit your finances in the future you can uh okay i haven't finished this one so it will help you build good habits and investing requires discipline and planning which can help you develop good habits that can benefit your finances in the future we all want to be financially stable want to be to have that financial freedom and if you can help me get there as your target audience then why not so ensure that you list as many benefits as possible and benefits are not features as we shall be seeing later on so I hope you've understood how we are going to do this. You've understood how to use a language and tone that resonates with me. If I'm a person or my needs are, I want children, do not start 
coming and talking about cars or something that is relevant to my needs and then you have to address the pain points and challenges so what is the pain point you are uh, targeting is it uh is it me wanting to invest and not having money make sure that you are uh, you, you are well aligned with that and highlight the benefits of your product or service as we've done so i hope this have been um, yes helpful let us go to um writing your message so how should your message be like so uh, when you're writing your message keep your audience in mind as you craft your message as we've done on the jam board uh, using that example of investing you've captured my age you've captured my gender and you've captured my biggest pain point woman in her 30s who is looking to invest so consider your audience goals the goal is to invest and also remember what are my motivations why do i want to invest because um, um maybe uh, a, a target audience in this age group they are working they are trying to be more financially stable maybe for their children maybe to buy a house remember to uh note the motivations when you're doing your research so what are they looking for in a product or service like yours so for example the product you've talked about the one the investing one what am i looking for or what is your target audience looking for in this uh, in this uh, product what am i looking for uh, make sure that you are able to highlight that and then create a copy that speaks directly to your audience and address their needs and concerns so um addressing addressing your audience's concerns is so important because if you don't address my concerns then i'm definitely going to be very very reluctant to try um uh, your product so how you address somebody's con uh, concern is maybe by uh, noting down what are some of the objections why would this woman not want to use my product and you can come up with as many many as reasons as you can for example it's too expensive these are just ex uh, these are just objective uh, objectives it's too expensive uh, limited know how limited know how let us make this more beautiful and then another thing um uh time time constraint fear of being ripped fear of being ripped or coined uh because of maybe previous experiences and then financial constraints maybe could be maybe it, it is related to too expensive but not really financial constraints uh something else would be like uh, couples not in agreement as far as investing is concerned and then what is another objection that i would uh, i would um mm -hmm learning curve learning curve because these are is also a person that is very busy in other things uh is in this uh is your product does your product and tell me having to come and learn because i don't have the time so this is an objection so make sure you list all the uh, concerns of your uh target audience and remember to address them in your copy I hope you're noting this down don't just listen to this lecture i want you to be noting this down because if you don't address the objections then definitely you're going to leave money on the table and i don't want you to so address the pain points know what do they want what do they need what are their motivations and their concerns in your messaging so we are going to be doing all this so note all this down what are uh, your target audience's objections and if you can come up as many with as many concerns as possible the more your copy will be better and the more it will convert writing objections is very very important so note that down so create a copy that speaks directly to your audience and uh, and that will address their needs and concerns make sure that you address all the objections i might have towards using your product or your service 
I hope that is very clear. And then in summary, understand your audience. Understanding your audience is key to crafting an effective copy. You have to understand me. You have to understand what my needs are, what are my wants, what are my motivations, what are my concerns. Why would I not want your product or why would I be cautious towards using your product? Make sure you uh, note or you know all that and then gather data and consider all of those. Consider all my needs, my interest in, my interest in order to create a message that will resonate with me or with your target audience and that will persuade me to take an action. So imagine, imagine you have this uh, amazing, um, imagine you have this amazing product here, uh, how to start investing as a woman with a low to medium income. And you've also addressed my, one of my motivations, maybe one of, one of my motivation is maybe to, to save for, for my children, higher education. Mm -hmm. This is an amazing motivation, by the way, and um, you've addressed this, and then you've gone further and addressed all the concerns or all the objections that I may be having, and why would I not want to buy your product? I hope this is making sense. So why would I not want to buy your product? So this is what I mean. So address me, uh, target me nicely or correctly. Uh, make sure that you're addressing my motivations or my pain points and make sure that you're also addressing all my concerns so that your copy can make sense to me and so that it can address me in what I need and I can be ready to take out my money and give to you. So that's it. Let me know if you have a question. And then now we're going to the next lecture, which is crafting a message. So we shall be learning how to craft a message. Thank you. This is now lecture four. We are going to lecture four. I hope you've, been, you've enjoyed this lecture. See you in the next one.